Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about another creation operator that is range. Normally, these are not operators, these are used as a function. So, operators are nothing but what I already told you that which are used in the pipe. So, these are called as actually functions, but these are also we can uh, call it as operators also. Why? Because so these people has given RxJS, they have given in the operators these lists. So, here you will be able to see the creation operator side. Right? Now, we are learning about this range. So, this range is a function actually. So, we are using as a method, not a, we are using in the pipe operator. Now, what is this range? So, what is this range? Let us try to see the definition of this one. Creates an observable that emits a sequence of numbers within a specific range. So, if you want to generate the numbers with a specified range, so if you want to get the numbers out of from one place to uh, uh, from one play from one number to another number means so you can use this range normally if you have if you have taken this interval function so if you take this interval operator what it will do try to do is it will try to generate the value within specific time so for every one second it will generate the value from 0 1 2 3 like that right but this range will generate at a time all the values it will give you at a time from particular number onwards okay for particular from particular place onwards it will try to give so what is the try what is the definition of this one so range it will take three parameters so first one is the start this is a number so start means from where it has to start the starting number either it can be 10 11 12 something 20 or 30 40 whatever the number you want you can give the starting number and the count so total this is not end number so if you have given 20 means the, you should not give the end number you should new you should give the count of count how many numbers from 20 onwards i need to generate so, for example, if you have generated 20, comma 2 means then it will generate 20, 21. That is a that is a count. So two numbers will be displayed. So that is a count, total number of count. And the last parameter, if you try to see here, it is a scheduler. So uh, that is the reason I have explained you about the scheduler. What is the scheduler? So scheduler means nothing but uh, I can say Q scheduler, async, SAP, these type of schedulers we can give. So start, count, and the scheduler. So these are the three parameters it will take. So default one, it will be a your undefined q scheduler it will be or null it will be so count is also something like undefined only it will generate sequence and number and integers to generate so start number means from where it has to start so if you try to see here the parameters the start the value of the first integer and count means option is undefined the number of sequential in integers to generate scheduler means the type of scheduler if you try to see here the marble diagram here is the range 1 comma 10 so that means it needs to start the numbers from 1 and it, uh, it, it has to print out of out up to 10 numbers so that is the reason 1 2 3 up to 10 has been printed so this is the thing now range operator a range operator emits a range of sequential in integers in order where you select the start of the range so from where it has to start you will select and its length length means total number of numbers it has to print by default it use no scheduler like and just refer to synchronously but you may use a scheduler like to regulate those deliveries so this is the thing let right let's try to see this practical implementation now if I try to do here let me create this range operator and in this operators let us quickly add this one. So in this operators yeah here in this one let us quickly add this range thing. So let us close this one yeah I am adding this quick range and here also range and uh, let us go to this app routing and here in this app routing I am adding the range. So these are all I am adding in the operators so why because these are our operators. So range operator, so it has not created I think. So let's see it has created or not. Yeah, it has been created. So now let's try to see whether it will show me or not. Range operator, range operator component, right? So let's try to import this range operator component at the top. So this will be range from and I can remove these all the things range sorry not race range range operator range operator race you know right so which observable completes first it will dis, it will take that observable and it will unsubscribe to all the remaining all observables that is the range thing see sorry race thing so let us go to the range now here let us source is equal to I want to display the range it should be imported from the rxjs so I want to display the range I want to get from 4 to 10 so from 4 onwards I need to display values so let us subscribe to this one source dollar dot subscribe 
and if I try to print console.log of data ok let us try to print here if I try to print let us go to the operators and bottom we will be having the range yeah so automatically up to 10 it has been printed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so from 4 to 10 that 4 to 10 means that is nothing but from 4 onwards up to 10 length so the total count 4 up to 13 so this is the thing so now if you want to add you can add also add the <coughs> scheduler so let us think that we add this async scheduler or otherwise q uh, normally it is an uh, uh, without scheduler i will show you first what what will happen so now if I try to do console.log start scripting ok scripting scripting execution starts here so I can uh, console.log end scripting and here I will do end scripting now if I try to print the values what it will happen so the script will start now the script will start now and after printing all the range values then the script will be end ended so that means here the range operator is executing synchronously until these all operators printing has been finished only then it will print it will go to the next line so this is the important thing you need to remember so if i try to print 10000 10000 numbers here now here if you try to see so after printing all the 10000 values only then only see now end scripting is not executing where it is waiting until the range is completed now if you try to see at the top it will be start script now it will take a couple of time to complete see end scripting is executed now that is the reason so now what i will try to do is i will try to use this so instead of thousand i will keep thousand only instead of this one i will use async scheduler so what is this async scheduler will do here it will keep this logic everything in the queue it will execute the remaining all the things when after when when the complete execution has been finished then it will take the task of this uh, range thing and it will start printing the values now let us try to see what will happen the same output if you try to see here now if I try to refresh it again so so it is trying to print all the thousand values see but now the end scripting has not been printed why because end scripting has been printed at the top only so it will take the task after some time after executing all the values start and end scripting is completed then only afterwards it took the value from the uh, task queue and execute and executing in the stack okay execution stack so this is about the range operator if you want to control this execution of the observer also you can use you can use the scheduler so what if you want to learn about the scheduler means i have already covered this uh, uh, video in the previous thing so you can take over you can you can take a look at that scheduler thing also so this is about the range operator so almost all the operators take this uh, last parameter as the scheduler concept so the scheduler concept the main thing is nothing but if you want if you don't want to block the execution of this range if the if the execution of this script means then you can use the scheduler so that the observer is executed parallelly so this is all about the range operator hope you understood about this range operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.